Hi, I'm Robert Slaird, and I'm here with your God Generals Nugget. This month, the first of the year, January 2020, we've decided to start out our year with giving you the ministry and the astounding life of a man called John G. Lake. He was from Canada, and God called him into the healing ministry. And at one time in his life, we can say through historical record that we have a record that he had in five years, a hundred thousand documented miracles. Now, let me qualify that for you because sometimes you don't understand the words I just said. A hundred thousand is amazing, but a hundred thousand documented miracles. They had proof they were sick before and they had proof they were healed at this point. So they could go to any newspaper, any family, any skeptic and say, we have a hundred thousand proof of the person was sick here of this, and now they're not, and medical records and pictures and documentation, phenomenal. It was so astounding, because he's lived in Washington State, the city of Spokane, that the federal government of the United States declared Spokane, Washington, the healthiest city in America. The reason for that was, as the mayor would say later in congratulating all the medical people in Spokane, he was so happy to get the award. He thanked the hospitals, the doctors, the nurses, the ambulance drivers, and he included John G. Lake's healing rooms in why the city received this great honor from the federal government. Isn't it nice that a governmental politician recognized that what the hospitals could not do, that a man named John G. Lake and his healing technicians in the healing rooms of Spokane could do what medical science could not do, and the mayor put them together and his congratulations. Throughout this month, we're going to discuss all the great things that God did through John G. Lake, his successes, some of his challenges. So I don't want you to miss any day because every day we'll be doing something about John G. Lake and his ministry. So make sure you tell your friends, share my page, because this is the way to start the month with a man that lived right and had great success and died correctly in faith. It's going to be a great month. We love you. We'll see you next week.